devout Christians try to excuse the horrendous things that God says in the Bible, I like to ask the question, what if Satan said it? What if Satan, instead of God, said that being gay is a sin and that any man who sleeps with another man must be killed? Well, then I guess the church would say, hey, it's totally cool to be gay. And in fact, we will no longer put up with the evil Catholic church selfishly trying to keep God's gay will for just between a priest and an altar boy. Because hey, read your Bible. God created the gay pride rainbow after Noah's flood for everybody. And by everybody, because this is the Bible, we we mean just men. And if Satan instead of God had said that a man may sell his daughter to be a maidservant and that her master may then rape her, then I suspect even the most conservative Christian fundamentalists would have been among the first to support women's rights, instead of following a Bible where it turns out that the hand of God is the kind of hand that likes to slap women around. And what if Satan, instead of Jesus, had said that he did not come here to bring peace on earth, but rather to divide it and set father against son, mother against daughter? Yeah, if Satan had said that, then there is no way that that passage would be so conveniently ignored like it is by most Christians. Or, at best, excused as Jesus just whimsically describing what is, for many people, just a typical family Christmas. If Satan instead of God had said any of these things, then the most devoutly religious Christian would, hopefully, be completely appalled. And rightly so. But instead, so many keep trying to excuse God, saying that, hey, he really does care about humanity. It's just that lately he's been so swamped dealing with all of those thoughts and prayers that people have been sending him after that hurricane, which is why he hasn't quite gotten around to helping the actual victims of the hurricane yet. But hey, seriously, as soon as he's cleared out his inbox, he will get right on to that. I'm just the son of a carpenter And I don't want anything from ya Except for your eternal love and devotion and guilt 